What's good, guys? If you're looking for cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure I head over my sponsor. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout for the most cheapest, most fastest, most quickest, reliable source on the internet right now. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K22 My Team video. And guys, today in this video, uh, we're going to do a couple of good things. We're going to go over this market. We're going to go over snipe filters. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to sub it up, comment down below. It will be appreciated, man. This video is late. I'm very tired. I'm on four hours of sleep. But yo, we are here. Uh, we are grinding. If any of you guys are interested in sports cards, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Um, comment if you have any questions. I will answer down below. We're going to go over top snipe filters in NBA 2K22 My Team. Also, if you guys do need MT, hit me up. I'm buying and selling MT on Instagram and Twitter. Um, so if you need MT for Xbox or PS4, just hit me up on those apps. Links down below. Anyways, <clears throat> we're going to go over these top snipe filters. I'm very tired. I feel like an absolute bum. But listen, we're going to go over these filters. Um, hopefully, you guys can make out pretty well. Um, let's just go over it. So first off, let's go over the AMI filter. Why not? Why as well do it? A uh, little amethyst action. Let's go over to around, I don't know, 3K. So let's go over here. 3,000, 3,000 MT. All right, so scroll over. Pretty much, bro, this filter is absolutely incredible. You just got to know who you're buying. You just got to know the you gotta know the market. Um, you just want to stay away from, you see how it says 22 NBA season? Stay away from that. Any of those base cards, it's nonsense. You want to stay away from it. Even in real life, when you buy sports cards, you got to stay away from base cards. Base cards are not it. Never buy base, ever. So, uh, yeah, um, just got to know who you're buying. Pretty much anything that pops up other than 22 NBA season is a snipe. Um, that Luka, not a bad price. I wouldn't make too much MT off of it, though. I could probably sell for like 38. It's not worth it, though. It depends. So, it's probably one of my better filters. You really got to know how to work the market. You got to know pricing. You got to kind of work out the market. So, that's how that works. All right, next up. Let's go over to Diamond um let's see so diamond uh the cheapest diamond i believe is rashawn holmes and let's see what i'm in value kevin McHale is now the cheapest diamond not the best stats definitely good in the post not the best shooter um so diamond filter is kind of destroyed same with the Anders filter these filters are getting absolutely destroyed same with the pink diamond filter that one's going down too um so kevin McHale is the cheapest diamond rashawn holmes actually did go up in value which is surprising to me. I guess it's because he's out of packs. But, yo, this Kevin McHale might be a very, very good investment. This is a pretty good filter as well. <clears throat> I think you can snipe Kevin McHale's out on this filter every minute. And not going to lie, I think he's a pretty good investment. Um, his defense is amazing. He can shoot the mid-range. He's an absolutely amazing post player. And his defense is pretty solid. Um, honestly, this card's not bad. He is, what, 6'9", 6'10". He's really not a bad card. I actually kind of recommend this card. I think he's a pretty good investor. I think he would sell pretty, pretty quick. So if you want, definitely try to snipe on diamonds. I recommend it. Today's Sunday. The market's going to be slower. On Friday, though, is when you really want to invest. Friday and Thursday, premature market crash. That's how you make some real, real money. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, anyways, we got that. We got pink diamond over here. Um, let's go over here. Pink diamond um what's the cheapest pink diamond isn't it ricky rubio ricky rubio weapon value too i believe he was in the 30s to be honest oh moses cub well i got <coughs> i got rid of this card for 110k when it first came out let's go over here um so wow ricky rubio went up in price a ton this man was like 30 to 40k he's up over 50 <clears throat> so i guess ricky rubio if he pops up is a snipe let's actually check his value so pink diamond filter cheap is you're looking for honestly every anybody that other than moses cub so Moses Cup is honestly the only guy you want to avoid. Let's see. Pink. No way. Pink Diamond Ricky Rubio was an amazing investment. I mean, his stats are incredible. This car went up so much. 63K. 68K. So he's probably like 50-ish K. This car was 30K. Literally in my video, I think two days ago, that car was like 30 to 40K. So his price went up like 20, <clears throat> like 30, 40%. That's insane. Um, so definitely keep your eyes on Ricky Rubio now. Ricky Rubio is the main guy you want to sign with the pink diamond filter, honestly. And honestly, I think he's going to pop up a lot. <clears throat> um, so, <clears throat> oh my God, my voice. Put it to 50K. Keep refreshing. See what happens. Listen, it's a hit or miss with sniping. It's going to take some time. My best way to make MT. It's not it's not sniping, bro. It's just investing. Um, obviously, with the investing, you're going to get a little bit of a snipe. You're going to get a little bit of a deal. But listen, 
Forget the sniping, forget the hours of waiting, the hours of watching. Listen to me, bro. If you want to make some MT, you got to come out on the market with a lot of MT. You want to sell your cards, you want to sell your team. You want to buy. First off, Super Packs. Super Packs is the best way to make MT. It's not even close. So first off, Super Packs is king of the court. When Super Packs drop, if you buy anything, you could literally buy a gold player in this, from the Super Packs and you can make MT. When Super Packs come, the whole entire market dies. That is the best time to make MT. It's literally the easiest thing. Pretty much, bro, if you think, like, for instance, um, who do I invest in that made a lot of money off? Julius Randall Amethyst, bro. Julius Randall Amethyst, I was getting him for 7,000 MT. He went up to 12K. I bought, like, 100 of them. Sold all those. There was another player that I made so much MT off. Josh Smith, bro. Josh Smith, I was getting him for 10K all day. Sold him for 16K. Sold all of them. Was making 5K each card. Listen, that's what you got to do. Super packs come out. When super packs come out, the market drops literally 50%. Close to 50%. Cards just get fumbled, they just get thrown up in panic, and then what happens? Two days, three days. So they usually drop super packs on a Tuesday. On Friday, that Friday, the super packs drop, right? So that they drop super packs on Friday. The new season comes out Friday. Alright. So when that new season comes out, um, the content usually isn't insane. The packs are usually decent. So the market literally goes up to the moon. <clears throat> Pretty much like Doge that one time. So that's pretty much just how it works. When does this season end? We got 18 days left in the season. So when Superbacks come out, <clears throat> that's how you're going to make some real MT. But yo, forget that. Forget that nonsense. We're going to talk a little bit uh, about the snipe. 600 MT filter is now ruined by Cameron Reddish Sapphire posted by all the same owners. So you obviously want to avoid that. I've never seen the 600 filter. This That's actually not a bad price. That's not a bad price, I don't think. Even though he's super common. Davion Mitchell, dude. Hold up. Davion Mitchell, yeah, it's gone. I think you could have sold for a thousand. Okay, now eight fifty. That filter's pretty good. <clears throat> it is pretty flooded though. So you might have to drop it to maybe five fifty. Yeah, you're gonna have to drop it to five fifty. I don't think six hundred is gonna be that good. Cam Reddish posted by the same owner for sure. Um, all these Cam Reddishes for six hundred. They're gonna go quick, dude. So after that, this filter's gonna be decent. Davion Mitchell's for six hundred as well, posted by the same owner. She, so yeah, you got you gotta drop it to five fifty, bro. If you get some snipes for five fifty, you're gonna make a lot, a lot of MT. So try that out. Um, let me think. We also got the diamond contracts. Always check out the diamond contracts, bro. It's always worth a look. Like seriously, you always gotta look at diamond contracts. They're very interesting. You always gotta check them out. So, uh, diamond contract DLs. Let's see. Diamond contracts is at 23, maybe 22. Let's see, 21. So 21,000 for diamond contracts, huh? That's pretty good. So 21K for diamond contracts. That's pretty decently priced. On Xbox, they're probably around 30. I'm telling you right now, these contracts are actually pretty low right now. You could invest, you could take the gamble. They're going to drop some type of locker code very soon where the diamond contracts drop down in value to the max. But yo, um, that's all we got for the vid. I know they also released some new content. They dropped Sean Marion, Sabonis, and yeah. We're going to pop one pack. As you guys know, my pack luck has been so doo-doo on these packs. So let's see. They're so bad, dude. What do I get? A ruby? Yo, that's it for the video. I mean, don't pop these packs, guys. I'm down bread on these packs. Yo, have a good one, boys. Peace.